Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about the flip and squat. The flip and squat can seem like a very scary exercise, but if you follow the concept of the swing and what we've taught you, it's not as scary or as difficult as it may seem, okay? So when you are doing a flip and squat, you want to swing the bell between your legs, bring it through, the momentum of the bell will carry it on its own and you're gonna catch the sphere. It's not really going to get way away from your body. You don't have to do that, okay? So what I'm talking about is this. So when you come through with the swing, release, and it's a small little flip. That's all it is. Come through and catch, all right? So you come through, you squat, come back up, swing through, squat, come back up. Now, if you need uh, to take some steps back, you'll do a double high pull to a squat, okay? So what you're gonna do is do your swing, pull the bell up, catch it by the sphere, squat, come up, swing it back through, bring it up, squat, come up. Then as you get comfortable, have a flip, just catch it first, then squat, come back up, swing through, flip, catch it first, squat, then come up. Then when you get comfortable, put it all together. As you catch it, you'll go right into a squat. You gotta master the swing first. Start with a lighter bell so you don't have to worry about the weight so you're more comfortable. And as you get comfortable, we can increase the weight, okay? Start with your swing, go to your double high pull to a squat, then we'll advance to the flipping squat. All right, guys, keep your questions coming. Thank you for being a part of this family we have here at 212, and we'll see you next time.